Hey everybody, this is Carrie with you on this rainy Friday morning. So I'm here today to share with you some fun facts about sharks, which I know probably a lot of you are fascinated by these creatures, but you also might be a little bit scared. Um, because sometimes I don't know about you, but when you get in the ocean, you might think, is there a shark out here? <laughs> so today we'll be talking about sharks. Now, what makes them a little scary sometimes is when you see these pictures and their big jaws and their teeth. So that's usually, they do that usually when they're going to eat something. So that's when they catch those really cool pictures. So this book is called Meet the Shark. And it's by Katherine Baynard. So, this is a book talking with you about sharks. So, here's a picture. So, sharks have long been thought of as a bloodthirsty monster. But are they really that? What do you think? Do you think they're really marine monsters? I don't think so. I think sharks uh they've gotten kind of a bad rap so to speak so basically look at this book over here so it's a sleek animal with a long tail and sharp teeth and the ancestor of our sharks today was a big shark called a megalodon so it was a huge shark that lived approximately 1.7 million years ago. And its teeth were as big as an adult human hand. Could you imagine seeing a shark tooth that big? It's crazy, isn't it? So, shark, like all fish, sharks have long rounded bodies and powerful tails. On their side, sharks have two fins. And what do you see usually in the water? The fin sticking up, and that tells you there's a shark in the water. So, on the sides of their head, shark have a number of slits called gills. So that's how they know how to. That's how they breathe. And they also have rough skin. I didn't know this because I've always thought sharks looked like they had smooth skin, but their skin actually feels like sandpaper. Have you ever? If you ever had a cat that licked you, it feels kind of rough, doesn't it? So their tongues feel like sunpaper. So that's what the um, skin of the shark feels like too. So it's rough because it is made up of thousands of dermal denticles. These are tiny scale-like plates that overlap each other. So this close-up of a shark is called an epaulet shark. And it lives in the warm, shallow waters around Australia. It looks a little bit snaky to me, but it's actually a shark. And they also don't have bones. Instead, their skeletons are made up of bendable material called cartilage. We have cartilage too, in our nose, and also in our ears. But the rest of us is kind of made up of bones. They don't have bones, they have cartilage. Isn't that neat? Um, so another thing is that sharks are often known for what? Those sharp teeth. That's right. But, um, some sharks, though, they may have a lot of teeth, but that's because they don't really use it for feeding, like the whale shark. The whale shark is about 40 feet long, and they feed on plankton. So what they do is they hold their mouth open uh, while they go through the water, and tiny animals such as shrimp, krill, and plankton wash in, and they get trapped in the filter in the shark's gill. So that's how they eat. And that's a whale shark. And if you've ever been to the Georgia Aquarium, or if you have the opportunity to go, I highly recommend it because you will get to see whale sharks and they are the most amazing creatures. Um, it's amazing to see those giant, you know, animals swimming around you. It's really amazing. So how many different kinds of shark are there? There are 450 different species of sharks. Most sharks are small. 
Um, in fact, half of all shark species are shorter than a baseball bat. Did you know that? I didn't know that either. So they have this reputation for being really big because of the creatures such as the great white and the whale shark. Um, so they have that reputation for being really giant, but most of them are quite small. So this book is about the great white. Now this guy's the one that you'll probably usually think of when you hear the word shark. Um, when your parents were smaller, maybe even your grandparents, there was a movie out called Jaws, which scared a lot of people. Um, Jaws was thought to have been a great white. So that's what a lot of people think of. Um, and great whites can really be between 16 and 20 feet, and they'll weigh between 4,000 and 7,000 pounds. So that's heavier than a combined weight of two cars. In this picture, it shows you a person next to a great white, and the great white is giant. So these are the guys that kind of have the reputation, you know, for being the more um, scary sharks. And they hunt, they do eat seals, but that's because that's their their natural prey. And they've got these mighty mouths. So that's a little bit of information about a great white. Another famous shark is a hammerhead. And it's because of its um, head that looks like a hammer. So it's got kind of a funny looking head. <laughs> so that's what they're named for, is for that unusual head. So they usually prefer to live in warm ocean water and you will often find them near the coastline. So they might be closer to shore. But I think I remember seeing maybe some really little hammerheads like in maybe a tidal pool at Myrtle Beach before. Um, I think it might've been a hammerhead, but they were really little, they were babies. So hammerhead sharks are greenish in color um, and they also have white bellies. So, and their fins, of course, that's usually what you'll spot if you see one in the water. Um, and they're excellent hunters, and their flat head helps them hunt. I didn't know that either. So their favorite thing to eat is a stingray. And they also eat fish, octopus, and other sharks. Wow. So hammerhead sharks give birth from two to 42 sharks at a time. That is so amazing. So they can also live for 20 to 30 years in the wild. So Miss Gary's learning all kinds of things. Um, this is my favorite shark, of course, the whale shark. Um, when I saw these in person at the Georgia Aquarium, I was so amazed. And they have a tunnel that you can go through with the water where you can look overhead. And it's amazing to see them swimming above you. Um, they're the largest fish. Um, they're usually found near the equator, which the equator, if you looked at um, a picture of the Earth from space, you would see that the equator is around the middle of the Earth. Um, so it's almost like if the Earth was wearing a belt, that would be the equator. Um, so it's usually really warm around there. So whale sharks can be brown, gray, or blue, and they can also have spots and stripes. That's true, I've seen that. They're made of cartilage, and we already talked about the food. They have a lot of teeth, but they don't use their teeth to eat. <laughs> so they have these wide mouths that the food can swim into. <laughs> um, their favorite food is a quail, like this. And baby whale sharks are called pups. I didn't know that either. Um, it says that they're harmless towards humans. Divers can often swim with them. So if you ever want to swim with a shark, the whale shark would be your best bet. Um, so before we go, guys, um, Miss Gary has a few safety tips for you, as I like to share if you're ever, um, if you might ever see this animal in the wild. Um, so when you get in the water or the ocean, just remember you're getting into um, the place where they live. 
um, and where the fish live too. So these are some safety tips to kind of help you avoid um, an interaction with the shark. Let's put it that way, because you don't really want to interact with them. Um, so first is that they often hunt for their prey in the early morning and kind of in late afternoon around what's called dusk. It's kind of where the sun has gone down and it's not quite dark yet. And you don't want to swim in the ocean at those times, at dawn and at dusk and at nighttime. Um, it's not a good idea because you can't see and they might not be able to see you either. Um, and another safety tip is if you go in, don't get in the water, if you have a cut or if you're bleeding, because sharks have a terrific sense of smell. So if they smell that blood, sometimes they might be more likely to want to come up to you and they might think you're something to eat and you don't want to do that. Um, so you also don't want to swim with a lot of shiny stuff. So don't wear, you know, necklaces or a hot water rings in the water because shiny stuff can attract them. Um, don't swim with your pets. Dogs, they, they can look like um, seals, which the shark likes to eat. So you don't want to look like something they want to eat. Um, swim in groups. Um, is there anything else? Stick kind of close to the beach. Don't really swim out too far because that's where they like to hang out. Um, so, you know, if you just follow some safety tips, you can probably avoid interaction with them and they're less likely to think you're food. <laughs> Because most of the time, if a person gets bitten by a shark, it's because they thought that it was something they ate. So they might take a quick nibble and then go back away. But the bad part is when they take a nibble, they can do a lot of damage. So just be careful when you're in the water. Just be mindful. Don't be afraid. But just be careful. And if you see something that looks like a shark in the water, get out because you're in their territory. So just get out and wait for them to go about their business. So I always try to share some of those tips with you to follow for safety. Miss Carrie follows those. I love the ocean, but you also have to respect it. Um, so those are a few fun facts about sharks. I always talk to y'all such a long time, but I love sharing these facts. So I'll see you again next week, guys, when we'll be talking about otters. So they're another fun animal. So I'll see you again soon, and I hope you have an awesome weekend and a safe 4th of July. Bye, guys.